Kinder Scout is the Peak District's mountain. Okay, it's not very mountainous, it's pretty flat actually on the top, but it's the highest bit we've got. And it's really interesting because there's lots of climbing, there's plane wrecks to find, you can go walking up there, family days out, and the weather's always very intermittent like we're finding today. So we're gonna kind of have a look at some Mammut gear, the highest quality mountaineering products, but also some versatile gear that you can use much more easily in everyday life. So all really good kinder days obviously start at the outside cafe with a full English and a pint of tea. Um, and then you head off up here. So the first piece we're trying today is the Aconcagua by Mamu. So this is basically how fleeces should be these days. So it's got a hard face on it, so it's much better at abrasion than old school fleeces. And also inside, it's got gridding on there. So this is Polytech microgrid. So basically fleeces were usually a big jumble of synthetic fibers and it took a while for sort of hot air and moisture to get through there. Now we've got this gridding, looks like this, means that it can keep away from the skin and that means moisture falls in the channels straight away and is instantly away from the skin. The actual bits with the channels are really thin fibers so basically the moisture is gone before you know it, evaporating or being pulled onto the next layer. This could actually be a really good first layer in cold conditions. Today I'm wearing it as my second sort of mid layer. It's got the all important thumb loops, which I love for winter climbing, so you tuck into the gloves. Slim, comfy, easy to wear. So, my favorite layer out of the lot, unsurprisingly, because of the color, is the Kento Light. This is a really, really light soft shell with windproof materials, and then slightly thinner materials and the rest of the under the arm here to allow more sweat to get out. So this is beautiful, really thin, so if it's worn just on top of a t-shirt base layer, it's fine with the Aconcagua underneath. It feels perfect on quite a chilly, windy day on the way up to Kinder. Really, really tough, so if you're mountain biking or climbing, you can stand up to loads of abrasion. I think I'll even wear it on winter climbing days, admittedly the drier of the few. The hood packs away into the collar, so if you are wearing it under another waterproof, it's absolutely fine. It's so light, it'll pack up small. So you may recognize these bad boys. This is the world famous base jump pant by Mammut, of course, with the reinforced knees, crampon patches, and of course, the rear. So these use the Scholar fabric, which is like the original soft shell. It's really well treated so that grime and grease and moisture doesn't stick to it. We tested that with some ketchup earlier. You just rinse it straight out and it comes off. So that means they stay water repellent much longer than lesser fabrics, basically. Great for walking up to Kinder on a day like today, but also they're gonna be absolutely brilliant for winter climbing with a layer underneath. I find the zip pocket just in the right place. It sits below my harness if I'm climbing to keep my snack bars in there. You can actually release it at the bottom down here if you're ski touring in them. But also they're just really comfy and really breathable for walking and everything. So finally, hopefully not needed today, but really, really lightweight waterproof. This is the Kento HS. We do this in men's and in women's. So as you can see, it's really, really light, packs really, really small, but also it's incredibly waterproof breathable and quiet and comfortable to wear. The waterproofing stats on this is actually really impressive for such a light jacket. It's really quiet and comfortable and easy to wear. So it's great in all situations. The hood rolls away. And yeah, hopefully we're not gonna need it, but let's just see. So this is the ladies version of the jacket that James was wearing and I'm really, really fond of it. It's a really nice, light, comfortable, waterproof jacket. It does differ in the men's one a little bit where you've not got the stash pocket on the chest. And to be honest with you, I wouldn't use it anyway. It's uncomfortable, it's in a really awkward spot. So they've just not bothered putting it on. And I think that's a fair point. It's form fitting, so it fits well on the ladies frame and extra features mean that it's great depending on what shape you are. So if you're a hobbit like me, the Velcro straps on the wrist mean your sleeves aren't hanging really low. If you've got normal length arms, they're absolutely fine too. Just can't go wrong. So what we've also tried out today is the Alan Asker Lowe's from Mammut. Now these are the Gore-Tex version. They do do a non-Gore-Tex ones as well, but obviously they're nice and waterproof. They're really versatile too, because they're so comfortable. They have a climbing zone on the front, which means that if you are scrambling up some rocks, you're gonna stick. The one thing they don't offer though, is any kind of ankle support. And it's important to make sure you're well protected when you're out in the hills. They do also do a mid version of the shoe. So make sure you've got the right kind of shoes for the right terrain. Oh well, didn't need the waterproofs in the end anyway. Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> uh, to the pub. Help me. 